It's it's matching the look at that it's matching the tub. Well, the, Subscribe seriously. I had to do an, I had to do a serious upgrade on. It. What's up, YouTube? We are here in California, obviously, but we're in, where are we? I don't know where we at, but we on our way to LA. See the mountains in the background? Right now we're looking for snakes or lizards or something, so let's hope we find one. If we find one, we'll post it. If we don't find one, then we don't find one and you won't see it. But we're trying, there's so stay tuned. Oh, look, there's a rabbit. So there we go. We got a rabbit right there. Two of them. All right, let's see if we get more rabbits. Catch rabbits. What's up, YouTube? We didn't catch no snakes last night, unfortunately. It's fault. Oh, well. But we got a surprise for you coming. So stay tuned. We just leaving Mimi's Cafe. Had a great breakfast. But we are in LA. That's your that's your clue. So now that you got a clue, give them a little better clue. We're in Fountain Valley, California. Comment below. Let me know if you know where we are. Let YouTube. Well, you if you guessed you, prehistoric pits, we're here. Jay Brewer spot. Hopefully we're gonna cut some eggs today. We'll see some cool reptiles. So stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? Here with Jay. Is that insane? Get a close up on that. Yeah, it's actually so rainbow. It's look at that, it's matching the look at that matching the tub, the blue bowl almost. Is that ridiculous? That's ridiculous. That's gorgeous. Oh my god. White dots going down its back. That's bad. Y'all better like and subscribe, seriously. I had to do an, I had to do a serious upgrade on this one. I have my black one down there that's so famous. And I decided, man, I gotta have an upgrade. <laughs> There's my upgrade. So now I gotta get her get him big and and he's pretty good already, fame wise. So. Yeah, he's beautiful. Okay. Let's see. I think shoes is blue. Oh, yeah. Come on, girl. She's shedding, yeah. so she's a little bit nervous, and that's why I wanted to wait a second. Come on, girl. Are you gonna be touchy? You're not gonna be touchy, right? Hmm? Stop! Hey. Just noticed she was in blue, which doesn't usually bother her too much after I get her out. Why is it super wet? Well, it just came out of the water bowl. We're gonna go the other way. Come on. Where are you going? Oh my gosh. Bigger than it looks, huh? <laughs> she looks like a giant swirl of so let's see if you can get bit. Let's see. Everybody stay away from head. Obviously, she was a little tiny bit crappy. And usually, she doesn't stay that way. Man, this is better than the gym. <laughs> Weather, too. You're already sweating and you have to work out. 
Right. It's like one of those gyms they do for TV, you know, they spray you right before they make your Instagram video. <laughs> yeah, don't hold her neck to hate. All snakes hate it. Uh, whenever you hold the snake, it's always best to just kind of guide it. Loose. Yeah, just kind of guide it. With, you still got a little bit of a poop left in it. She pooped a lot in her tent. Hey, don't poop. These are my good shoes. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna make his good <laughs> shoes. Good shoes, his favorite shoes. <laughs> right. This is nice. How old is she, Jack? No, she's about ten. She's ten. Uh, wow. Yeah, she's actually the I almost sure one of the oldest leucistics around. Ooh, never get a full loop around your neck. <laughs> yeah. Right. That did not look very good. <laughs> good news is she didn't know what to do with it anyway. She likes people. <laughs> If you want to grab a photo, this is a good opportunity for a photo. We don't normally get out big snakes, but we're making a quick YouTube video. What's this? <laughs> Can you hit the right spot? <laughs> Chili, uh, Gomer, and Gomer's a rescue gator. We have to feed him a little bit different because he doesn't open his mouth very wide, which is good for everybody else. But he was still window shopping over there just a minute ago. That's <laughs> as far as he can open his mouth? Pretty much. But he but if you notice he's one of the fattest gators in the whole tank. So, so you tell no me meals. how that works. Yeah, he's not I, the I was yeah. see that one that he drops it. I was gonna get my my jaw wire to try to lose weight, but then I realized it wouldn't help when I looked at him. So he's always done well despite the now the snapping turtle down here. Come here boy. Come on. Come on. You weren't ready? Whoa. See down here? If you can all the way back with your back to the We're okay. Everybody's good. I'll keep an eye out. You don't want chicken, do you? So right down here, this guy here would love for me to make a mistake and forget he's in there just for a minute. He just he just absolutely keeps dreaming of getting me by the fingers. And you guys want to be, see me getting the fingers? Oh. See that? Well, you, she missed it because the camera lady wasn't on it. See, so this girl, this one right here, whoa. <laughs> so, when they get the name Snapping Turtle, if you think I'm teasing it, it's not. It's just that everything in front of it is snap, is what it wants to snap its mouth on. <clears throat> so this is a common Snapping Turtle. That's actually a really big male that I actually thought was a girl at one point, but we learned it wasn't for, uh, we won't tell. That's an IGTV. That's an IGTV all by itself on the Reptile Zoo. So right here is Fabio. Who, who's seen Fabio before? There you go, guys. Oh, I'm leaving. I get it, you guys. I get, I get it. I get it. <laughs> so Fabio here loves his chicken. He usually loves his chicken enough to, to perform a little bit because See, the reason why we do this is because we want him to not turn into a fat, lazy lizard that doesn't live long. So what we want to do is we want to give him make an exercise. Come on. Come on, Fabio. Come on. Come on, Fabio. you got to go for a swim. It's gym day. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh. Look at that. He just like, he's getting stable. Oh. oh, I almost lost it. Oh, I almost lost it, didn't I, Fabio? Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's like, are you seriously? I'm just, I'm just so lazy. Oh, he got it. He got it quick, didn't he? She's actually really, really good. And uh, so everybody always has questions like, how do you know this snake isn't gonna bite anybody? Well, of course I don't know that. It's not impossible. I'll bet you a million dollars everybody here bit their mother at one point in their life. <laughs> Every mom here will shake their head with agreement. It's either bite her on the neck, bite her, well, you know what I mean. Let me in the mood, huh? Come on, forget that, forget the petting for a minute. So he literally likes to be petted so much that he's still, he's still thinking pet mode. Look, at this eye's closed. How's that eye doing? Wash. <laughs> I'm gonna to try to make sure my finger doesn't get in there so you can see how the name Squash came up. What are you looking at? Why? I've never seen you take that long. Banana ate it before he figured out that he wasn't supposed to like banana. You want? You don't want this. Hey, 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 you awake? Whoa, you awake? 
Whoa, whoa, you're awake now, aren't you? Yep, you're awake. I thought so. <laughs> so, they're very quick when they want to be. So, he's a really tame Asian water monitor. He's a sulfur. He's actually a sibling to, to Fabio, but he's not not the same, he wasn't from the same exact mother. And so, but he had the same dad, and he's still Mr. Kipling's nephew, because it was a sister that had it. So, come here. Now, here's the funny part about this guy. He likes to shut one eye. This one eye, this one eye has always been a little bit different. But, so, but it's funny, I can't tell today. Because you know why? There's food present. And uh, you can see he's still looking around. What's your chemistry water monitor you uh, about 80 pounds, but I saw one that was about 120, but I don't think that was healthy. <laughs> right? It looked like me, supersized. So. This one's hoping he's going to get that way. He wants some more chicken. Oh, whoa, whoa, you didn't even give me a chance to make you work for it. you got to work a little bit. Boy, this one's quick. He is on target. On target, on target. So, I'm going to go. This is uh, Come on, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Exactly. He's not. This one here will first want to bite me, and then when he figures out that I have food, he'll give up and just eat. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he has definitely got the name Diablo Watch. I give him my finger. Oh no, he's going to eat it. Here he's gonna do it. Oh, that's funny. Here, Diablo. Here. Come on. Come on. Do you want me to give it to you? Oh, seriously? You gotta use your tongue. You just wanna bite? Do you not even have a tongue? Did you just like hurt it biting so? Oh, no. did you see that half hearted tongue? Okay, guys. He wanted to bite you and get his tongue. That's what he wanted. Okay. Okay, so I got an idea. You found it, you want to hold him? Okay. See, so he's actually, this, so he's actually, look, they're looking at each other. Diablo. Diablo's in that cage because he's a bully. He is a bully. They couldn't share that giant apartment together. Oh, look at this. Come on, Diablo, show us your tongue. You barely used it last time. You want another, another one? He is really lazy. There. Oh, look at him. So look, see now, so, see he's displaying. So now this guy is acting like Diablo, but he's tame to humans. Diablo's not very nice to anybody. He's just a grumpy guy. So he said, oh, there you go. So he was too lazy. He wanted to get it, like I said. So see how he's got, he sticks this out to make his head look bigger. Iguanas, they have a big dewlap to do the same thing. And it's really cool. What I think I'm going to do is Where gonna, are we right now? They want to know where you're at. We're at the Reptile Zoo in Fountain Valley. You guys need to go check it out when you go to So one is missing its black pigment. I mean, it's a orange pigment, which makes it blue. And the other one's the other one has extra pigment, which makes it red. More red pigment. So they love bananas. Come on, you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. OK, everybody, settle down. Slow down. Off. Hey, be nice to each other, would you? Jeez, this isn't a this isn't free tickets to a rock concert. There you go. So even that little iguana, yeah. <laughs> go at it. Hey. What if he gets away? So whoa, wow, you are just too crazy. Look over here, my dude. Sorry. Yeah, not my hand. We're from the Bay Area. Oh, you just like the shirt? Oh, no, this is in Amy Jack. This is from us. This is our business. Oh, that's cool. Look at it. Who would want to? Who's going to be nice? Jimmy. Let's go see. We're going to see a big, big team. Alright, you're done? You're probably cool. You're done? What about the shirt? Ready? Don't put it all the way to the face. Where did it come from? You don't want it. 
<laughs> you saw that, huh? Oh, YouTube's gonna see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna take all this talking out. <laughs> uh, I'll probably leave it in. So, y'all lucky. This is gonna be uncut footage. See if they eat. Buy here at prehistoric pets you can get some mealworms you can feed the tortoises we might do that too but let's go look at the turtles over here let's go feed some turtles let's feed the dragons got some alligators that you see in the feeding i told you youtube we ain't gonna do no uh uncuts you know jay got an awesome place over here i suggest if you haven't been here you should come it's you know, in Fountain, California. Right? Jay's it's always talking to people. He stands on the If you come over here, usually the turtles will come up and eat. Here at Prehistoric Press. Come on, come for a close up. Watch this. You see that? Even the fish will eat. You didn't get it? Here, let's see another one. Uh, oh, there it goes. Here, let's feed some more. Talk about fishing, here we go. Bam. Only here at Prehistoric Pets at Jay Shop. Come on, let's go look at, uh, let's go feed some dragons. Get this guy that's trying to get out one. Oh man, you hungry here, bro? Here. Alright, here you eat. Look. Alright, bro. Go eat it. I think they're eating the lettuce. Yeah, they like the lettuce. You eat, watch when this. They, when they're bigger, they'll, um, when they're bigger, they'll, they, when they're bigger, they'll, yeah, you want to feed one? Feed one? No, they eat lettuce. They, they also would love the millworms, too. Yeah. Try the millworm? Like you want to you wanna feed one? No, thank you. No, thank you. How about no, thank you? <laughs> All right. All right. Look, here comes another one. Got it. That's cool. You like coming here? Yeah? Yeah. Really cool All right, snake. go ahead, Jay. You first. Okay, okay, okay. Not something you see every day. Matter of fact, not something you see hardly ever. What are you doing here, buddy? I just had him out and laid him upside down on there. So that is a new type of morph that's in the United States. It's very rare. I've had it since it was a little, I, I've had them for like nine years now. And I finally got, this is my second batch of babies. And I've got it, I'm pretty happy with it. It's called a rainbow. And it looks like a rainbow boa. And uh, it's got the line on the face. It's got the dots down its side. It's got the rings on its back. It's a really pretty snake. That's not pretty, Jay. That's okay. freaking gorgeous. It's a really gorgeous. ugly, it's sick. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here's another one. This one, this one's even a different look. Yeah, they're in the back corner. What do those look like when they get bigger? Uh, that's it. Pretty much like this. Oh. Nobody has an adult in the United States. You're getting some a little bit of sides on them. There goes yeah. LJ YouTube. It's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! And uh, let me see here. Somewhere over here is another cool snake. Uh, this is a platinum mochino tiger titanium. Oh, it doesn't have tiger in it. It's just a, it's just a platinum, <laughs> which is, I think, the only. I have two of these, and this is the only. And the other one might be a tiger, and this one's not. 
And they're the only two Mochino Platinum Albino Titaniums in the world. That one tore its bowl out. I'm going to have to fix that. And then let's see here. This is really cool. Even though it's just a Mochino Citron. And, uh, just. Yeah, but it's really, really cool looking Mochino Citron. It looks like a tiger, but it's not. See its head stripes complete. It's uh, got a tiger pattern on its top. It's really bizarre. Just a really pretty snake. Absolutely. And uh, it, I, I, honestly, it looks like a platinum, but it, it and it was a pos platinum, but I just don't think there's any chance it can be platinum because its pattern's not really jiving with it. But look at that. It looks just like a tiger. It does. It, but, it really does. But, and maybe it is a tiger with a, an aberrant, but look, it's got a full stripe on its nose. And that's supposed to go away with tiger. So if you go look at tigers, that's one of the markers. So that's funny, a keeper. You know, hear a funny story? Yes, absolutely. The tiger stripe on the nose, when I hatched the first albino tigers in the world, my eight or eight year old daughter said, well, dad, they gotta be albino tigers. They don't have a stripe on their nose. Cause I was doubting it because the odds were so incredible. And my that's eight year old amazing. showed me, <coughs> I was like, wow, I didn't even think about that. You're right. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Juliet just like brought me to my reality right there, like quick. This is a Mochino, absolutely gorgeous golden child, but it's mo it's a it's a, a Citron and it's a Mochino. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I know it's a beautiful snake. The Citron makes him look like a platinum and a sunfire all in one snake. <laughs> yeah, I can't really be handed around. Oh, okay. It's a Sorry. Yeah. It's what like, kind is that? It's called a, it's a rainbow. <clears throat> it's, no, it's, it's a reticulated python. Rainbow python? It's a reticulated rainbow. python, but the pattern is, is rainbow. So that's why I wasn't sure. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, sorry. It's not, I'm more than willing to. No, no, no. It's just that thing is like so. Are those expensive? That one right there. <laughs> I don't even think that's the word right now. Well, I mean, no. is something ten thousand dollars more expensive? I, I, that thing's ten thousand dollars or more. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. No, oh, look at that, right. folks. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I'll show you a snake I really like. Wow. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like them all. <laughs> right. But the most but I'm gonna show you a snake I really is, like. Yeah. So is this that, in the top ten faves? Uh, you know. I think it's way up there. Look at that. Woo! Wow. <laughs> the mocha chocolate black eyed sunfire platinum. Yeah, and that's sweet. You know, super sunfire. So I mean it's it's just got so many genes in it. It's mo it's unbelievable. It's a mochino, it's got motley in it. Look at this. Super motley. Mochino. Phantom. It's got so many genes that we don't even know what it is for sure. All right, I got a question for you, Jay. So how many genes have you produced <laughs> in one snake? Man, <laughs> so many genes we don't even know what they have, Woo. to be honest. We're not, some of, some of them are getting to the point where it's getting a little bit tough to be sure. Uh, here we go. Look at that. That's a pretty snake too, huh? Yes. Mochino, titanium. They are all gorgeous snakes. So. I don't even know what the most genes we have in a snake right now. I think the clutch today is pretty intense, to be honest, Ooh. that we're going to cut. So you'll get some of that video. Yes. That one, we already seen something like it. Here we go. How about, this is a cow. I'm pretty sure it's a citron cow. Nice. Coming along good. We have one of these that's incredible on the other side. Look at the black specks just coming in everywhere. Oh, yeah. Did you have one that was born with black specks? Yeah, I did, and it didn't make it. It had an intestinal, eventually had an intestinal problem. It took a while. He's hungry. Look at that. Look at that, it's Starting gross. to get its cow colors in. That's gorgeous. Wow. Back there. Are they still working on it? That one's, this is actually one I got to remember they're going to do an update video. So this was born all kinked up, but it's doing fantastic. See, so it's got a kink there, and it's got a kink there, and it's got a springtail. Actually, this 
I think this video got like two or three million on on I, I, on a Instagram, and I'm actually working on kind of trying to straighten his tail, but I haven't had a lot of time. But it's doing really good. I'm actually going to ship it to one of my customers wants it, and uh, he's going to just take it and you know grow it up and take care of it. And he's got a couple other ones that have weird deformities and give it a life. Nice. Just because you're not normal doesn't make you not normal it makes you different and different and different makes you a one-of-a-kind masterpiece <laughs> <laughs> so just because it doesn't look like you or like his brother or his sister doesn't mean that it's any different it's just a different it's just a different different model an original so anyway just to just on that point let me show you this thing uh -oh. Look at that, you guys. Oh, Check it out. Gorgeous. Nice. We're gonna work at naming this one on IGTV, and I already got one. I already gonna. I already have hope in my mind that's gonna be named. <laughs> is it a boy or a girl? Without without eyes, it still has plenty of hope. Name or is it a boy or a girl? It's a. Uh, you know what? That was one of the reasons things I forgot to tell anybody, and it didn't even sex it. And it is a boy. So it will not be Hope. <laughs> Hope was my girl name, and now I'm going to have to have help anyway. So, so anyway, on IGTV, that's what I'm going to come up with. I'm going to come, we're, this is going to be one of our IGTVs. I'm going to show all these oddball ones. And, and uh, What's your Instagram? Name for that one, huh? What's your Instagram? Uh, it's prehistoric. It's actually J-A-Y prehistoric pets. All right. So, You'll, it'll come up pretty quick for you guys. It's kind of cool. It just pops right to the top, which is kind of nice. Nice. Without all the, you don't have to put very many in there. Look at this one. Ooh, cool! I was thinking. So we're gonna in a minute wow, gonna cut some that. eggs. I'm pretty excited about that. That's gorgeous. Coming along. Look at those eyes. It's weird because that's actually almost pie. Well, the weird part about it is the spots that are coming in are like. No, they're not. That's what that's what made it look more like like which a really really which quite hot. yeah it's kind of weird because we had a citron we had a citron or a titanium male we weren't sure what it was and we haven't pro we didn't prove it out that produced these so, possible citron yeah not positive but we'll find out later because we'll use we'll breed them to a citron about to do some egg cutting. Stay tuned, it's YouTube. Yes. Huh? Was there anything new? What? You gotta have to go find him. You must have got hit by a car. <laughs> I mean, it's either in the car or it's not in the car. Did he take it down the store? LJ, what you think about these eggs? Uh, so what are we I think I might like them sunny side up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, all right. Nice. See, right now, he will show them afterwards, too. Yeah, don't worry. So you guys can get, like, I am blocking the view a little bit, so you might get a little bit one side or the other. So we're doing a little something different. you got to stand literally over her in order to get a decent video. Okay, ready? You're, you're filming the wrong direction. You too. Let me open. Let me do a YouTube opener. Okay. Hand me the two. The no eye snake. <laughs> and I wondered if you ever seen it from the other side. Well, here we are. The other side, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So check this out. I figured I would start out the video kind of different because it's a different day. Check it out. So this is the guy that hatched a while back with no eyes. And look at this, you guys. A snake with no eyes, and it's doing really good. Okay, you guys ready out there in the YouTube world? Let's make it happen. Here we go. Okay, ready? <clears throat> this. So if you guys look really close, these guys, we got two trying to escape right here. So there they are, right there. One of them's cut just recently. You can see where the see the blood coming out right there? That's because it just cut and already. So this was a little while ago, because I can tell because the blood's slowing down. And this one cut this morning. I've never done this before. So what do you got a question? 
you know, you got a question. Okay. Let's see. You got a good question? How many eggs do you open a week? How many eggs to open a week? That is like the problem with the internet, okay? So you guys see my once a week video that took me three months to get ahead of it, and you forget that there's a clutch laid, and then there's a clutch, there's really not that many egg cutting clutches. So it's not as many as you would think it would be. So people freak out about that and they ask, what do I do with the babies? What do I do with the babies? Well, first thing we try to do is make sure they survive by helping them get out. So this is a normal baby. Uh, that's what a normal reticulated python looks like. It's a little tiny baby there. Look at him. Now he's probably just about ready to pop out. Is that cute or what? You guys always say he's cute? Hit that, hit that little heart and say he's cute right down below if you agree. He is real good, let him. I say him and it might be a girl. And uh, let's see here. Remember I told you it might be ready? So there you go, you guys. So I'm gonna have to hand this off to somebody. So see right there. So let's go ahead and there you go. That's that little belly button is all done. All that's left is a little button, which comes to another interesting thing. Look at this, you guys. So when they first start out, there's no white in a snake egg. It's all yolk. But after hatches, there's yolk in it. Now this one doesn't have a lot of yolk. Uh, I mean, a, a white but there's actually clear fluid after. So it depends on how much moisture is in the egg. So this one literally had like the perfect balance. But some of these will have more moisture than others. Now, another interesting fact that most people don't know, these eggs are all collapsed looking, right? That's because right before they hatch, they collapse. Now, you always see me picking up a big bunch of eggs and people ask, what sticks to makes them stick together? Well, let me show you something. Even if they're stuck together, See these two are stuck together? As soon as they start to hatch, look at this one, they didn't do it. I was just gonna show you. They barely stick together anymore. And I thought that one was leaking. I thought we were going, so let's see what we got here because we're gonna run out of time. So, we've already seen one normal. And look at this one. This one's like, thinks he's Freddy Krueger. He's got like cuts everywhere. And it is another normal. But look how beautiful its eyes are. Look at guys. Its eyes are absolutely stunning. Look at the eyeballs. So absolutely gorgeous. And uh, let's see what else we got here. So we should have a whole bunch of really cool snakes in here. Not that a normal isn't cool, but let's see what we got here. Is this gonna be a part two? The last one turned out to be a part two, but if it, if it cuts off, you oh, look at that. So we got an albino sunfire right there. So there's, there it is right there. So that's an albino sunfire. We're looking for a whole bunch of other genes. So I'm gonna have to show you guys a little bit closer in a minute, huh? So that's one of the benefits of coming to the reptile zoo is you can act when I, if you have your post notifications on and you live anywhere near here, you can actually see that, look at that, another normal. So we're hitting the normals on this one, but that might mean, the funny part is, is hitting a lot of normals means you might hit the grand slams easier because every time there's a normal means all the other genes that should have been there are stacked on one snake. So, I'm hoping. How far are we in? Are we five minutes left? How many minutes left? Four minutes left, that ain't too bad. Oh, look at this mochino. Look how dark this mochino is. Absolutely gorgeous. So we might end, we still don't even know who the father is, you guys. Who's the father? Take votes down below, we're talking. And uh, what do we have a couple more new, good questions in there? See you, boss, from IGTV. How long will the blind snake live for? How long what? Blind snake live. That blind snake should live as long as any reticulated python, providing it, I mean Burmese, providing it eats normal. So there's another normal. 
So this is kind of getting intense to me because I still don't know who the dad is. So, do I know who the dad is? Mochino? Nope, I still don't know who the dad is. So here we go. Man, who's the daddy? on one snake so I'm hoping to see that other snake and there's another normal so let's let's see if this is gonna work out the way I'm telling you so what would but, be the grand slam out of this letter uh, this one's gonna be a little bit tough so this is a mochino times purple sunfire motley phantom so or jag tiger so there's one other male that could be so it can be a purple motley phantom which is really a cool snake uh, Purple Mo Sunfire. So we can get Motley, we can get we can get Motley Phantom Sunfire Mochino on it. And there is our first Mochino. Mochino is another form of albinism. So there you go. Here's here shows you the difference in genetics. So this one has a Mochino gene, you see? And this one doesn't. And so I can tell the Mochino. So this one's actually a lavender albino, and that's a Mochino. A Mochino is like what it sounds like, a mocha. It's half mocha and uh, and half albino, so it kind of works together and makes a really beautiful snake. So now there's another albino, and it's a normal it's normal lavender. So that would actually tell me if the mom. Let me see the mom mochino. So the mom was a purple, so that means that if that's a lavender, the mochino that we're using is half white, because because it can only be half for one of the. What kind of coloring are you looking for? My daughter's smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> of course I knew that, but... Yeah. <laughs> a change in pattern more than a, a different color. Okay. So there's, both of the dads had different patterns that should be showing in here, and none of them are showing. Huh. Which doesn't mean anything. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want. I want to. I want to get. I want to get a little bit more. Where's that snake that came out? All you Instagram people are gonna be gone in three minutes. But that's okay, cause tomorrow will be the other end. So here we go. I'm gonna put it in mass burn cut mode. But I have to be careful because this is a razor blade, and I don't want to cut myself. And that's why I put my finger inside, cause I'm the one that gets cut. And I don't want to get, oh, 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 I still don't know. Who's Can you believe tiger? this? The suspense is building. What do you guys think? Who's the dad? Who's the Jag Tiger head on right now? Uh, the dad, I have to look. The is this the top or no? Uh, the, it would, unless they both have tiger, but I don't think the Jag has tiger. Uh, and I forget if the other one does or not. It's a phantom, so I don't think either one does. Look at this. Another Mochino. And you know what's funny? The only reason why I actually thought my daughter might be right because these look like mochas, but you can't you can't get a lavender from a from a parthogenesis clutch because a lavender requires two genes and an albino and it, they would it would couldn't it can't happen you can't get them because they can only be a copy of whatever's in one egg and so it takes two genes so let's see here and there's another lavender we definitely have a lavender wow, that looks like a purple. Maybe less, yeah, that's weird. So maybe it's a two-father clutch. But at this point, we may never know who the dad is. We only got a minute left. I feel like I'm in a race. Do you have another good question? See you, Um Wow, I still don't know. How many Not too long to wait for the second how half. How many guys? first particular oh, they showed up. <laughs>
Okay, you know, so I need to do the math, but it's way over the 200. The suspense is building uh, uh, I honestly think it's closing in on about 300. One point here, which At one point, we were convinced it was 250. But right now, uh, but I don't know. Do you have another good question? That's kind of crazy. So when I say I'm living the dream, it's because I get to do stuff like this. And this is really cool to make the world never seen before snakes. That's another and post notification. I don't know if that has a possibility. So, of what do you got, today, see of us for a question out. over there? So, you know what, guys? We're going to make this real simple. Oh, I was pi oh turn on still normal. To see the rest oh, of my video. gosh, you guys. We'll see you then. So, we had a, one coming. of the viewers seen Who's the Python, the eyeless Python that hatched that I already showed you. Comment below if you're surprised. No dad still. Still no dad. Are you guys voting? Are, is this going to be no dad? Do you believe it's no father? Or am I going to have all of a sudden they're going to be a dad? Because right now, there's no dad in this clutch. Can you explain what that means? So no, no father, father means that yeah, the mother start this has reproduced eggs without... Look at that. These are definitely different looking. So the mother reproduced... Male. Offspring yeah, without a male. So you have a chance. And so what happens is the the eggs actually start splitting. The male G, the male sperm actually starts splitting the eggs. These I'm eggs split on their the own the without the uh -huh. male. Oh, so what ends up happening is there's no male. There's no father to put the genes in. So it all comes from the mother. It's literally the next like right? cloning. I mean, the idea itself. Good. Good so at what I do. Here. Try. I think right? you guys Please make a hundred percent chance. You think it's gonna okay. stay apart from the Genesis clutch? I did oh, sex I one as a male. Did I sex this one? So that means no. there could be a father. But one so male far, doesn't prove anything, by the way. No so that father. Could be the dad. Still staying no father. This is insane. Absolutely insane. So being no father, what are the odds of more males? Let me sex a couple Very more. Well. Very well. Like, Remember I told you I one looked like a purple? I've only had one. I've only, so no, if it here. has a father, no, it could have right just made middle, one right baby. That's a, so yeah, that's what the odds are. The odds are real simple. That one that there. I'm going to have to so have this snake genetically tested if everyone else is a female. This to looks find out darker if it to me, but had a father, or if it actually reproduced a male from a female. But a tail doesn't. So they might all be purple. So yeah. I think impossible. So man, there's a lot of girls. It's easy. It's it's still possible. Well, the good news is I'll have it for the title. Ready? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me get it. So Jay's bringing out one of the biggest snakes that he owns. Twenty three wow, footer, I think. Guys, this is gonna be IGTV's mm -hmm. first Not. no no father clutch of egg hatching in the world. Good. That's not. You guys ever see this before? Ah, a no dad clutch. But there is a dad to that one, more than likely. I have it genetically tested to find out. Big snake. What do you guys think? Oh yeah. Okay, you guys. What you're looking at is one of the largest snakes around. She is very big. Don't worry, we're all good. People are going to see this and think this snake is very aggressive. Now, she might be aggressive right now, but when she's in her cage left alone, she is totally fine. The thing about it is she wants to be left alone. All snakes we're gonna do. Put her back. We're going to put her in her closure. Oh, we're going to let her go a little bit on her own. That's a big snake. <laughs> this here is the, probably the largest living reticulated python in the world. We don't know of anyone bigger. Oh, as you can see, she's very, very, very big. Juan, uh, go ahead and get this side. You guys need to stay back a little bit. We're putting her in another enclosure. Go that way. Uh, it looks easy.
We're moving her from one location to another. We're gonna get her over there. Okay. Nothing in Genesis clutch, but what you just seen right here is this clutch has no dad. If it has a dad, so far that's the only possibility of having a father. I have to sex them all one more time, but even if I do sex them all and find another male, I guarantee there ain't but one, there ain't looks like two males in this whole thing. And the only reason why I say one is I sexed them halfway through for fun. Three foot And uh, here we are. And there's no genes except Mochino, and apparently the other ones must be purple albinos, if I had to bet. And uh, they just don't look like purple, but they darken up later. And uh, wow, that is incredible. So we'll figure it out soon. Thanks, you guys, on YouTube. I'm going to get back on this, get, start making a lot more videos, and I uh, hope to see you soon somewhere. Do you guys follow me wherever? Okay, you guys, so how did you enjoy Diamond Reptiles and Supplies? You guys got to go down below, follow this bad boy. Oh, yeah, this ain't my channel. You know, <laughs> go ahead and tell all your awesome people out there, hi. Right. Hey, so <laughs> come, you heard what he said, follow, subscribe, leave a comment. Come check out Fountain Valley, California, the Reptile Zoo, Prehistoric Pre Pets. TV, baby. There you go, <laughs> Jay Brewer, you know. Living the dream, right? Ouch. Together. Man. Absolutely. Okay, guys. See you soon.